Hey there people, it's your favorite ho ho ho, Weedle Twinil here bringing you all another Scarlet and Violet VGC video, but the holiday special, we are using some holiday themed Pokemon in VGC. Before we get into the battles, if you all enjoy the Scarlet and Violet battling content and want to support the channel and give me a Christmas present, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already, and double check to make sure you're subscribed, you never know. It really helps the channel grow and I really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments what you're doing or did over the holidays, whether you celebrate, you know, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas, or nothing. Just let me know in the comments what you're doing or what you plan on doing over the holidays. So yes, because we are using a holiday theme team, you already know, we gotta have Deli Bird on the team, Araya Carey, because people only care about her during the holiday season, just like Deli Bird. And then we have Iron Bundle, the upgraded version of Deli Bird. And then we have Abomasnow and Satitan because they happened to group up together when I took the trainer card Christmas picture. They just happened to be in the background of the Delibird outbreak. So I decided to catch them and throw them on this holiday theme team. Next we have Archlodon, a new toy I wanted to play with. Stapler bridge truck thing. Yeah, Christmas theme. And last but certainly not least, we have Santa himself, Incineroar. Shiny Incineroar is the perfect Pokemon to be Santa Paws because let's be honest, who wouldn't want to sit on his lap and tell him what you want for the holidays? So that's the festive team we'll be packing for this video. As my first opponent today is actually packing a pretty unique team because we are on the casual ladder because Ranked has not been updated with the DLC Pokemon yet. They're packing Qua Quabble, Electivire, Sinistra, their own Archlodon, Politoed, and Grim Snarl. So overall, a pretty unique team. And of course, I'm spreading the holiday cheer with my festive trainer card. They're just taking a selfie with their bestie and his sweet anti -flosion. So they're going to lead off with the Electivire and the Grim Snarl. As I'm going to lead off my Ensign and my Snowman. So Santa and Snowman do lead off. We're going to intimidate the Electivire so it's not allowed to play the game. And I'm also going to fake out the Electivire so it's not allowed to play the game. As the Grimstar is going to fake out my Ensign, but because I have some speed DVs, I'm able to outspeed their fake out. And I'm able to go for a Liquidation into the Electivire, do some decent damage. And now they're going to go for a Thunder Wave into my Ensign, but thankfully Santa is immune to Grinch's, you know, tactics. They're going to go for a Low Kick here, which is going to bring me into my citrus berry so you know santa is going to you know eat a cookie real quick get some hp back and now i'm gonna go for that nice parting shot give him a nice stat drop nice present because you know electivire has been a naughty lad for christmas and uh, electivire is not going to be getting any gifts for christmas this year because game freak was very rude to it supercell slam is like its biggest buff and i guess knockoff and supercell slam is a garbage move but now I'm going to bring my toy bridge here, go for the side icicle spear into my toy bridge and get a million stamina boost. So after that cutscene, the loaded dice icicle spear gets us plus five defense thanks to stamina. And now I'm going to Trastalize my Archlodon the following turn as they're just going to go for a thunder wave. It's not going to affect my Archlodon because I Trastalize into an electric type. And they're going to go for a low kick, giving my last stamina boost I needed for plus 6 defense. It's going to take more life orb damage here. As now I go for the side entrainment into my Archlodon, giving it sheer force. And there's a reasoning for this because Archlodon's signature move, the Electro Beam, it actually is boosted by sheer force, despite the fact you keep the special attack increase when you use it with sheer force. It's a weird interaction that Dewoblefet, the mechanics god, posted about on Twitter. So I wanted to, you know, showcase that interaction in this holiday theme team. So I'm going to go into my instant, get the Intimidate on Electivire, so it just really can't even hope to damage me. They're going to go for a Reflect here, just to reduce the body press damage, because, you know, I'm at plus six. Gonna go for a low kick here as Santa's gonna eat that up because Electivire is just so bad and Electivire is gonna take itself out here. Oh no, I lied. Okay, never mind. Maybe it's next turn. Anyway, Sheer Force slash Kin are gonna finish off the Grim Snarl as that's gonna go down. And now they're going to bring in their Quaquavel, their you know Fembird. <laughs> um, in comes the shiny Quaquavel as they're gonna go for a Protect here. So they do have some you know VGC strategies with that Protect, you know. So they're gonna guard the Fake Out with protect they're gonna go for the low kick here and not knock out my ensign because ensign is just way too bulky and they're at minus three attacks so down goes electivire to the life orb recoil unfortunately for them as now i'm gonna go for the raw electro shot without rain just because i'm like let's see electivire is at minus three what's i gonna do a, do a plus six archlodon and so i figure if i fake out quaquavel it's not gonna be able to move anyway so the recharge turn isn't a big deal so they protect it anyway which is good but, you know, Fake Out would have still done the same thing. But anyway, in comes their own Archlodon. 
And so now I'm going to switch out my Santa and bring in my Abominable Snowman here. So we have Abominable and then, you know, we had Snowman this Titan, so get it. And Obama Snow is also supposed to be like the Christmas tree kind of, I don't know. Low key, Christmas trees are kind of like outdated. Like I haven't had a Christmas tree in like ages. I'm not gonna lie. Like maybe I've had like a small one, like a small like plastic fake one, but I haven't had a real tree since like forever. But anyway, it's gonna go for the Terra Electric Sheer Force Boosted Electroshot at plus one and just annihilate this F slur bird. And down goes Quag Quavel. Shiny Quag Quavel does look really nice though. I didn't realize it's shiny was, you know, that nice. But yeah, I'm gonna go for the Aurora Veil here with my Obama Snow, just because I'm like, I need to live the potential Archdodon attack because the Dragon Pulse almost knocked me out. As we're able to live the Dragon Pulse thanks to my Assault Vest and the Aurora Veil, and Body Press is not able to knock out their own Archdodon, which is kind of unfortunate, but they just concede because they know that, you know, my toy bridge was better than their toy bridge. Hopefully you all enjoyed that first battle featuring Entrainment Sheer Force Archdodon, but it was mostly just the stamina Body Press is doing work. I wanted to showcase that interaction and just mention that it exists just because that was pretty cool. But yeah, let's move on to the next battle. Namir has a very cool team because they have Cryogonal, a nice snowflake for the Christmas theme team video. I love it. They also have Gardevoir, Halucha, Sceptile, Golem, and Delphox. So overall, it looks like a really random team. And that's what I like about the casual ladder. You see a lot more variety on Pokemon and strategies, as my opponent will demonstrate in this battle. And they have a nice trainer card with their uh, shiny sand slash, I like it. They're gonna lead off with Hina and Von- you know what, why did I even bother trying to pronounce that? They lead with Cryogonal Sceptile, I lead off with, you know, Mariah Carey and my Titan. I fake out into the Sceptile, trying to prevent like a Shed Tail, but they had something else in mind. They go for the side Ice Shard, and they're gonna activate their weakness policy. But unfortunately for them, I did fake out into the Sceptile, so it's not gonna be able to move turn one. So I do flinch the Sceptile, and I said, no fun for you. I Icicle Spear into the Christmas tree and just, you know, knock it out. Which is unfortunate. I was thinking about putting Sceptile on one of my teams for this, uh, you know, holiday special, but I decided against it just because I was like, eh. I have a bomb of snow already, I'm good. But yeah, they're gonna bring in Sundari, the Gardevoir, or the Master Gardevoir, that's Mother right there. And now I'm gonna switch out up Mariah Carey just because I was like, well, I can't really do anything with her at this point. So I'm gonna bring in Ho Ho Ho's, my Iron Bundle, switch into an Ice Beam, and I quad resist that, so I take it reasonably well. As I go for the Entrainment here into Iron Bundle, and the most recent Scarlet and Violet DLC update, you're able to replace the Quark Drive and Protosynthesis ability, so I decided to use Iron Bundle with Side Entrainment, the 7 star Iron Bundle event they've been doing for like the past few days to celebrate the holidays. And Gardevoir goes to Trick Room, so I'm like, well, my Iron Bundle is not in a good spot now. I was not expecting a uh, Trick Room, you know, paired with, you know, Ice Shard, Unburdened, Sceptile stuff, but you know what? I respect my opponent for using heat. So I go for Protect here to guard myself because, you know, I'm slower than both of them. They tear Electric, their Snowflake. They said, I don't know. Let me take some notes because they have Levitate with Terra Electric. They go for the Moonblast into the Titan slot as they bring in Raya Carry, which does lift my Focus Ash. And they just go for Terra Electric, Terra Blast into Iron Bundle, which is really scary. That'll probably knock me out. So um, they're going to decide to switch out of the Cryogonal for some reason. Maybe they're reading the Fake Out as they're going to bring in their Cinnabar here. The Golem. As I figure, if I go for the Terra Ice, I might be able to live a Terra Electric Terra Blast because Cryogonal kind of sucks. So we're gonna Terra Ice my Iron Bundle here, and I could just go for Fake Out into Gardevoir because I figure the Moon Blast will do more damage than the Terra Electric Terra Blast because, like I mentioned, Cryogonal Special Attack is kind of bad. So I just go for the Sheer Force Blind Blizzard. As you know, due to a Christmas Magic, I'm able to hit Gardevoir. Is able to live just because she's Mother. And has a high special defense stat. And here she's going to, you know, nom 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 on her citrus berry. So it's a weird, like, supportive trick room Gardevoir. We're on the casual ladder after all. So I, mean, I don't want to question my opponent's sets too much. We're just on here for a fun time. And I hope you all don't mind some of these battles being more laid back and not super sweaty because, you know, it's just a holiday special. But anyway, I go for Protect with my Iron Bundle, trying to stall out this Trick Room. As they have Shadow Sneak, I wonder if their subtitles like Terra Ghost to combo with that, maybe? I don't know why they have Shadow Sneak, but they also have Heavy Slam, and we're able to guard ourselves with that. And I'm like, okay, well, if they have Heavy Slam, then I should be able to live that if I get the Hail up. But they're going to switch out of the Golem. Maybe expecting Ice Shard, they switch out of the Golem. So I'm actually going to switch out of my Snowman here. And I'm going to bring in my Abominable, the second half of that, you know, nickname scheme. So I bring in Abominable, set up the snow so I don't have to rely on Blind Blizzard. 
As they just go for a Moonblast, we're able to just barely live. Those few EVs I put into bulk actually came through for this Iron Bundle, so I was pretty hyped about that. And here, the Blizzard doesn't do much to the uh, Cryogonal because they got a special attack drop with the Moonblast, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. Uh, Cryogonal has a very high special defense stat, so it actually sponges that Sheer Force Blizzard really well. Now Trick Room does wear off, which is good for me. They're going to bring in their Golem, as I just protect one last time, to scout, just because I don't want to die to like a potential Ice Shard. I was like, even with the Hail Up, you never know the stab Ice Shard might KO me. But I'm like, with Aurora Veil, I should live. <laughs> I should live an Ice Shard from Cryogonal, right? Because Cryogonal's attack stat is garbage. Um, Golem just tries to go for Heavy Slam, and it's not going to do anything because Obama Snow is pretty heavy itself. Golem's not that heavy, it's not Stab. Uh, I don't really know why they have Heavy Slam, but, you know, it is what it is. We're going to roll with it. We're going to bring in Mariah Carey here and just go for the Terra Ice Blizzard one last time. Just trying to, you know, do some damage. Fish for free. Actually, we can't freeze because of Sheer Force. No Christmas magic freezes this time around, unfortunately. But yeah, Sheer Force Blizzard knocks out the Golem as they're going to eat their other berry, apparently. Oh, they have an Aguav berry. They have multiple berries on this team. And they're going to go for Recover. And I'm like, oh no, honey. I may have stalled out the Strip Room, but you're not about to stall me with Recover. So I just go for Fake Out. And they're going to flinch. And now I go for the Encore. Why? to lock them into the recovery and this snowflake decides that this double you know deathly bird iron bundle is too much and they just concede sheer force iron bundle spamming blizzard unfortunately i couldn't quite get big one shots like i was hoping for but it's not too big of a deal i figured i wanted to show that battle because the opponent had a cool you know strategy with the ice shard weakness policy septile and gardevoir being mother and we love guard war on the channel so hopefully you all enjoyed that battle so i actually have a second team for y'all just because i'm spoiling y'all for christmas multiple presents with a second theme team right here so we do have the double deer with Sawsbuck and what were deer and then we have mariah carry once again and we also have enamorous which might not seem too christmas themed but listen the sleigh needs some wind power to you know operate and miss claws and Enamorous is like old, so she's low-key Miss Claus. And then we have Chargebug, who's a present. That's not a stretch at all. And last but not least, we have our own Grinch Snarl. So that's the team we're packing for the rest of the battles in this video. As my next opponent today, Poopy Face, has a very scary looking team. They have Superior, Fluttermane, Incineroar, Thunderous, Iron Hands, and Suicune. So overall, a much more threatening team than the previous opponents. And of course, my opponent has a basic ass trainer card to go alongside their basic ass team. Although, I will say Superior is kind of cool. I wanted to build around it, but they don't even lead off with Superior. They just lead off with Iron Hands and Suicune, as I lead off with Delibird and my Rudolph. So, they're going to Intimidate Iron Hands, lowering its damage output, as Suicune has Inner Focus blocking the Intimidate, which will also block Fake Out. So, I'm kind of glad that Intimidate showed me Suicune had uh, inner focus because I probably would have forgotten about it knowing me. So, uh, we're able to flinch the Iron Hands with our Fake Out. Stop being their own potential fake out as they just go for a tail one. I set up the trick room, so we both have the same idea fake out plus speed control. But thankfully, trick room is you know good against tail one. Now I'm gonna switch out on my Rudolph, I'm gonna bring in my present here, my charge a bug. And this is not a stretch at all for a theme team nickname. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna hear any complaints. It's a square, you know, like a present. And plus, I wanted to use this cute combo, so I'm gonna go for the destiny bond as they go for drain punch into my charge a bug, not do any damage. Unfortunately, my opponent seems to know about Mariah Carey's tactics. All she can do every year is go for Destiny Bond and pray that the opponent attacks her. But no, they just double target into Charge Bug and Scald burn me as well because no amount of Christmas magic will stop Scald from burning, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. I'm actually going to go for the lunge here to reduce the Iron Hands attack set a little bit. So they're going to go for the Drain Punch into Mariah Carey, which does around half because of the lunge attack drop in the Intimidate as now Suicune is going to finish me off with a Scald. So now Mariah Carey's gonna say, all I want for Christmas is your soul. And then she's gonna go down and take Suicune down with her. So down goes Suicune. The using counter allowed me to uh, go last under Trick Room, so the Destiny Bond was still active. It's a nice, funny way you can use Destiny Bond. So thankfully, we're able to take out the Suicune. It's now able to bring in Mrs. Claus, my Enamorous as my opponent's going to bring in Superior, and I was kind of afraid of Superior because Leaf Storms and stuff, but under Trick Room, it shouldn't be able to do anything, especially at neutral. So I'm going to go for the Stellar Terra 
That's right, a Christmas miracle. We found a use for the Stellar Terra. We're gonna Stellar Terra our Enamorous Essence. Superior's gonna protect, which is a good play on their part because I go for the side eerie impulse, give my Enamorous plus two special attack and the battery boost with Charger Bug's ability. Gonna go for the Dazzling Gleam here as the Stellar Terra is gonna give us the one time boost to our fairy type attack, plus two Stellar Terra you know, battery boosted, just one shot's likely Assault Vest Iron Hands, which is a great feeling. I want to see Fluttermane do that. I mean, it probably could, but that's not the point, okay? Miss Claw's eight. That's the point. Anyways, Tailwind's gonna wear off this. They're gonna bring out their Thunderous. And I'm like, okay, Thunderous is kind of scary. They're gonna Terrestrialize into a Fire type with their Superior trying to resist the Dazzling Gleam. They're gonna go for the Sight or Impulse themselves, giving themselves plus two special attack. But unfortunately, my combo is just better because I went for the side eerie impulse plus four special attack go for the terror blast which is super effective into every other terror type I wasn't even predicting the superior to terror I was just like well at plus four special attack I should KO superior even if it's you know a neutral hit so down goes the superior to the terror blast and because contrary normally terror blast with the stellar terror type gives you a stat drop so thanks to contrary you get some stat boosts now we're at plus five special attack with the battery active as well. And Enamorous is kind of eating them up. Chikram is going to wear off here. And because my Enamorous has no speed EVs, I'm pretty sure Thunderous, you know, it could outspeed me. There's a chance. So I just protect right here with Mrs. Claus as Thunderous is going to go for a Thunderbolt. We're able to guard ourselves with protect as now my Charger Bug's able to go for that nice String Shot. And String Shot's actually a really good move in doubles because even though it's like a meme move that, you know, Weedle learns, lowering both opponents' speed by two stages is kind of insane. So now I just go for the Stellar Terror Blast into the Thunderous. The icon looks so pretty, by the way. I took my Staff Boost plus my Special Attack with the Contrary Stellar Terror type. And next to the uh, Charge Bug as well with the Battery, I was just like, oh, that's so beautiful. Anyways, let me finish off this battle real quick. So I go for the Terror Blast as they Rage Quit on me. So yes, uh, Mrs. Claus makes the opponent rage quit because her contrary strategy just kind of gagged them. They're like, wait, I thought my contrary strategy was smart. But no, they got gagged by Mrs. Claus and her present. So hopefully you all enjoyed that rage quit and let's move on to the last battle. My final opponent, Cody, is packing a very scary team with a Furry, Firewater, Grass Core, and Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Urshifu at the bottom. They also have Raging Bolt, the new Paradox Pokemon, Cresselia, and Blood Moon Ursaluna. So overall, a very threatening team. Unfortunately, Cody has a basic ass trainer card because with the standard ass team like them, like they're playing VGC all day, every day. Like they don't got time to take a Pokemon snap with their trainer card. Like not everyone has the free time and no life like me. It's true. It's true. Anyways, they lead off with Instant Crest, Intimidate my Enamorous, turn one, as I'm going to Terrestrialize into that Stellar Typing once again, go for the Fake Out into the Cresselia, as Instant's going to go for the Fake Out into the Grim Snarl, probably expecting a screen or something, but thankfully we're able to Fake Out, outspeed their Fake Out because my, you know, I have a few speed EVs on my Grim Snarl. Going to go for that Stellar Terror Blast into Crest, which is actually a physical attack right now because of that attack increase from Contrary. We're going to do a little chunk to Crest, not too, too much because it is a physical attack and I have mostly special attack EVs on this set in Amorous. Going to go for the side parting shot, get an additional special attack and attack increase, and now we're going to switch out of that Grinch Snarl and then bring in the present. So we increase our special attack and attack and then bring in our present, which is going to give Enamorous a battery boost as well. And now the Stellar Terra, which gives us the one-time boost to our Dazzling Gleam, puts up a double knockout on Crest and Incineroar which is amazing. Like, wow. I didn't expect that to kill Crest or Ensign to be honest, but the Stellar Terra, like the one-time boost was probably, it probably threw me off because my mental calcs are usually pretty good. I didn't expect that to double knockout though. Like maybe I underestimated the battery boost, but yeah, it's a really fun combo. Side party shot into the uh, Charger Bug. Like it could do this with Chi Yu, but like Chi Yu is like boring and Charger Bug is based. So anyway, they bring in Raging Bolt, get the Protosynthesis and then Terrestrialize into an Electric type and they try to hit me with a Thunderclap. But I kind of expect Thunderclap. So I go for Protect in front of Urshifu. Okay, kind of questionable on my part, but it works out because we're able to uh, avoid that Thunderclap. And the Urshifu decides to go for Surging Strikes into my present, but because of the Eviolite, we actually take it really well. Like Charger Bug's so tanky for like no reason like let's go charge a bug like maybe you're not a bad pokemon like maybe more people should actually use you 
But I go for the Airy Impulse into the Raging Bolt, trying to see like maybe at minus two, my Enamorous can live a Thunderclap because unfortunately with Stellar Terra, your defensive typing doesn't change whatsoever. So I'm still a fairy flying type. As Surging Strikes, they protect their uh, Raging Bolt, probably not wanting to uh, risk dying to like an Earth Power or something. I don't really know why they did that because a Thunderclap plus Surging Strikes would have definitely knocked me out. But thankfully, because they were too afraid of my present and, you know, Mrs. Claus, I'm able to go for a Dazzling Gleam with a bunch of special attack increases and bring Urshifu down to their Focus Ash, which is really good for me. As now I'm able to go for this nice lunge into the Urshifu, finishing it off. So present, picking up a KO. Let's go, Charge a Bug. And now it's just this Raging Bolt against my entire team, which is kind of scary for Mrs. Claus because she's at very low HP. But I decided to not let her die to a Thunderclap or like a Thunderbolt. And I decided to switch out a Mrs. Claus and send in my Grinch Snarl because I do want to use my last Pokemon on this team. So I'm going to bring in my Grinch Snarl and then I'm going to switch out a present as well. Double switch. It's kind of greedy because they could attack into the Charger Buck slot with like a Draco Meteor, but they are at minus two thanks to Area Impulse. So maybe this play really wasn't risky at all. They just go for Thunderclap trying to finish off the Enamorous as so we're able to bring in my Saz Buck and my Grinch Snarl. I go for the Fake Out just because I want to go for the free substitute with my Slay Deer. So Slay Deer making a comeback. Uh, last holiday video, I had an iconic naming scheme with Slay Deer and Slay Deer. If you haven't seen last year's holiday, video you definitely should because there were some other heat doubles combos i utilized back then but i go for the swagger here i had this in my last holiday special but i don't think i showcased it in a battle we have the swagger with the mirror herb on the slay deer i go for the headbutt and with the serene grace 60 percent chance to flinch we're able to flinch the raging bolt which doesn't really matter because I'm sure Slater could have 1v1'd it at this point without any hacks anyways, but I just go for the headbutt here. And yeah, my Grinch Snarl snap is pretty bad, but you know, it's the Grinch for a reason. It has an evil ass moveset. And my opponent rage quits on the Slay Deer and Grinch Snarl because the Grinch ruined their Christmas and they just had to turn their game off. Hopefully you all enjoyed that try hard getting handled by this, you know, holiday themed team. I don't have any rental codes for this video because I don't really want to waste my rental code slots for these teams. But I'll leave Pokeface in the description for the movesets I used in this video if that interests you. But yeah, thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. I do have a Discord server as well. A place to hang out, talk about Pokemon with me and other Pokemon players, and just have a nice time. So I'll leave a link to that in the description if that does interest you. As well as my Twitter where I post a lot of, you know, sneak peeks of the strategies I'm using for videos and such. So follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. I love you all very, very much. Happy holidays if you celebrate them. I'll check you all in my next video.